What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, let's talk about the new updates and events in the ROX 2nd Anniversary Patch. We have a lot of new events and activities so let's get started. The first one that you will see once you log into your account or your character is the Time Rewind Letter which is basically a summary of your whole character. It contains all the things that your character has accomplished as well as the date when your character was created. At the right side of the letter is a revelry chest containing different rewards. Moving on to the next event or activity which is the Neon Message wherein you will basically post a message either in the Jumbotron floor to ceiling screen or small screen in Frontera. Do note that you will be using different types of currencies depending on which screen you are going to post your message in. The most expensive one is the Jumbotron because it will use 2500 diamonds while the others will use crystals and zeni. The next event is the Midnight Revelry which is basically the same when you are gathering Odin's Blessing in Frontera. You will just go to Prontera during the designated time of the event and you will receive Revelry Chest every 10 seconds. The next event or activity is the Highlighted Planning which is basically the same as the Kingdom Pass as you will be completing different quests to earn XP to level up your Warrior's level. Once you reach a certain Warrior level, you can get rewards like upgrading materials, costumes, and mounts. The max level for this event is at level 80, where you can get the Dazzling Pouring Mount. For the last event or activity in the Music Carnival which is the Sign-In Challenge, this will start on June 18, 2023. The next one is the Night of Celebration Pack and the first activity is the Big Night Costume Reissue, wherein you can use real money to get new costumes, mounts, and cards from the call of event which are the slime, attack on titan, and ultraman cards. In the mount pack, you can get the Ragna cycle and other mounts from the previous kingdom pass. For the second activity which is the night of celebration pack, you can buy different pet materials, enchantment materials, and gold cards. For the last part of the update, which is the amazing events, the first one is the Rocks Once More, wherein you can get different materials for scheduled events this June. The second one is probably the most awaited event by most players, which is the Gold Card Yay, for Free event. Basically, for. you will just complete all the quests and missions in this event to get X Pouring Coins, which will be used to redeem the gold card chest and upgrading materials in the exchange shop. However, you need to take note that in this event, only the daily sign-in quest will restart every day. What? All the other quests or missions are fixed and once completed, will not reset on the following day. This is included in the event description or rules. There is also a bad news for F2P players because the total of exporting coins that you can collect for all the missions that does not include spending real money are 88 exporting coins. What? So in order to get the cheapest gold card chest in the exchange shop which is 120 exporting coins, we need to complete the daily sign-in quest for a total of 32 days to reach 120. 
Emotional also, damage! You need to take note that the gold card chest gives random cards. What the fuck? You cannot select which card to get when you claim the gold card chests. You can also purchase exporting coins using diamonds, MVP coins, and mini coins. You can see the description of this in the event rules or event description. The next activity is the team up to grab gifts wherein you will create or join a party for a chance to get different rewards. Please take note of the requirements though as the players that can be party members are only for new adventurers and returning players. This event is basically the same activity when the Supernovice came out and the reward was the Halo of Revitalization costume. If I completely remember, I didn't even try to participate in this event. And that's it for today's video. I will be making a separate video on the new pet system and some of the minor changes in the game, like the tavern and oxwish rewards. Hopefully I can also release that video within the day. So which event are you going to focus on? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more ROX content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. GG! You're a superhero.